In this video, we're going to take a look at linking a Microsoft Active Directory via LDAP to a checkpoint system. Let's begin. I'd like you to imagine that you and I have 1,000 users inside of our Microsoft Active Directory infrastructure, and we've decided that we want to start leveraging that information, those user accounts that are already set up in our checkpoint environment for things like authentication as well as for identity awareness inside of Checkpoint. The process of setting that up is actually pretty straightforward if you know what to do. And here's the steps. We're going to enable the feature of user directory in the global properties on the manager. That'd be our Checkpoint manager. We're going to create a host object which points to the IP address of the Active Directory domain controller who's going to be acting as our LDAP server. We'll set up an LDAP account unit and the LDAP account unit is going to have all the information that the system needs, a username and the credentials for that user to access the LDAP database. And then we're going to create an LDAP group in Checkpoint, and that LDAP group is going to be linked to that account unit. And then we can use that LDAP group inside of our policy. Our first step is to go into Global Properties. So we'll use this shortcut icon right here for that. And in Global Properties, we're going to go to User Directory right here on the left-hand side in the tree. And then we're going to click on this checkbox that says, please use User Directory for our security gateways. So we'll click on that. We'll click on OK and then we'll save it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a network object that references our Active Directory server based on its IP address. So to do that, we'll go to Network Objects, we'll right click on Nodes, and say we wanna create a new node, and we'll call this AD Server. And its IP address happens to be 192.168.1.120. And the primary purpose for this, it's a pointer to that IP address that we can refer to in the Checkpoint database. So we'll click on OK. And now what we're going to do is set up the LDAP account unit. Now to do that, we're going to go to the launch menu right here. And here we're going to select manage. And there's a further drop down that gives us the choice to select the servers and OPSEC applications. And from here, we'll click on new. We're going to specify that we are going to create an LDAP account unit. That's what we're after. So we'll select LDAP account unit. We'll give it a name. From the drop down list, I'm going to specify that this is a Microsoft Active Directory that we're connecting to. And how do we want to use this? Do you want to use it for certificate revocation list retrieval, user management, active directory query? So I'm going to say yes to all those options. So let's go to the servers tab and we're going to add a new server. And it says, okay, from the drop down list, and it's the AD server. If we hadn't yet created that object, we could do it right here by clicking on new. So I'll go ahead and select the AD server that we created. And we'll put in a username that we can log on to that LDAP database with and the logon distinguished name. And then we'll supply the password for that administrator as well. And if we wanted to use encryption, we could. We could click on the encryption tab and then check the checkbox that says use encryption. So we'll click on OK. Let's go over to our objects management. And what we're going to do is I'm going to say fetch branches. So effectively, everything below nuggetlab.com in Active Directory, I have access to. And then the last tab is how do we want to use this LDAP account unit? And for our purposes, I'm going to say I want to use this just for checkpoint passwords. And we can also specify that we want that to be the default authentication scheme. And let's also make sure we specify the domain here because if I don't, it'll bark at me. So now we'll click on OK. We'll close that. And I'm also going to save that. Now to leverage that access into that LDAP directory, we would want to go ahead and also create at least one LDAP group. So we'll right click on LDAP groups. Specify I want to create a new LDAP group. I'm going to name this LDAP group. And now it's asking, what is the account unit? What is that hook into the LDAP database that you want to use for this group? We can also get very granular and say, you know what? I only want to focus on one container or one area in that LDAP directory. By default, the radio button for all account units users is selected. But again, we could get more granular if we wanted to. And we'll click on OK. And so now we could use this brand new created LDAP group as part of our policies. Now, just to verify that this is working, one cool thing you can do is let's go down to the LDAP account unit here at the bottom. I'm going to double click on that. And as it expands, we can double click on the various areas. And let's go to users. I'll double click on users. And let me click on the object list so it brings up that pane for us. So here's a whole bunch of default accounts inside of the Active Directory. Let's go down to the sales container. Double click on that. And it reads in, and here we have Jim Smith, who's in the OU called Sales, which is part of nuggetlab.com. And that's just a great way to verify that that hook, that link into the LDAP database, which in this case is Active Directory, is correctly working from your Checkpoint system. I have had a blast, and I'm glad that you've joined me for this micro nugget. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.